Good evening, Facebook Live. Good evening, good evening. My uh, family's they're all in bed. I'm going to go upstairs in just a few minutes and uh, watch some uh, television with the wife. It's been an amazing day, and I thought I'd tell you about it a little bit. Um, I named this video Ignorance on Fire, so for anybody out there who, uh, out there YouTube, SoundCloud, if you're just getting on here, let me know if you're live, replayed, let me know where you're coming in from, send me a message, like this, comment, put some hearts, do what you got to do. Let's get the interaction up on these videos because I'm trying to cast uh, value your way for free, right? I'm just trying to help you and help your teams as much as I possibly can because I want you to win at a high level and I don't want you to have to pay for it. I don't want you to have to pay for it, so do what you got to do. So, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Curry Russell, uh, coming at you from West Virginia, and I am very, very excited about this talk because ignorance on fire, in my opinion, is one of the greatest keys to success because it can only happen at the beginning. It can only happen at the beginning, and I'm going to explain why. When you get started with a new idea, let's let's say that you go see the latest movie, the, the hottest movie that's out there. You, you go see it, and then you can't wait to tell everybody about it. But when you watch it the first time, you couldn't even get all the details. Like, you couldn't get all the fine, the, the, the nuances of the movie. Maybe you missed some lines. So you can't go repeat all of it. You can't. There's no possible way. So you go and talk about, man, this part was good, and this actor was awesome, and I can't believe all the stuff they did over here. I highly recommend you go see it. It's truly ignorance on fire. But once the movie comes out on DVD, and you can watch it again and again and again. You've got all the bits and pieces. You don't really want to tell anybody about it anymore. One of the funniest things to me that happens in industry is, let's say you get your product or service. You're excited about the concept. You've been sold on the idea. But then, and you, and you go show the idea, you go play your video, you go do the stuff that you're supposed to do, but then you get your product, then you get your service. And then all of a sudden life changes. Then you won't show it anymore. Well, my nose is itching right here. Sorry about that. Um, you stop showing, you st start slowing down. You're like, oh, well, because typically, typically it does exactly what they say it's going to do. But then all of a sudden you lost the ignorance and became aware of the thing and you stop doing the work because then it's more about selling than it is showing. Ignorance on fire could take you to the top of your company, but you won't get out of your own way after the beginning. You think you got to know the ins and outs of your business. You got to know the, the who's and what's. You got to know the details. But in reality, the dumber you are at your product and service and you cast vision of the, the thing, the idea, ideas sell. It's in the fourth chapter of Think and Grow Rich. Ideas are what sell. It's not the product or service. The product or service, they, you can go buy that. You can buy that. You can sell the idea. That's a lot of y'all are pitching your product and service nonstop trying to get people to buy it. Stop trying to sell your products. Go show people the vision. Go show people what you got going on. I see people right now pushing product after product after product. You know, I, speaking of products, let's just for fun, I've got an incredible product. And I don't care if anybody ever buys it. I think it's so incredible that I show people how I use it, show people how other people are using it. And if they want to use it too, they can. They really can. Like, I don't care if anybody buys it. I don't care. I want people to see the vision of how they could possibly apply it for use in their products or services companies or in their brick and mortar business or in whatever they got. And I want them to just go use it if they want to. 
if they want to. I don't care. I literally went door to door through an entire Main Street business center for our, for our town. I had a wonderful conversation with our Chamber of Commerce. I had an incredible conversation with a, 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 a attorney, uh, an insurance agent, a Christian bookstore, um, I, a, a craft mall that I stopped and talked to. I actually ran into a person from high school who remembered me from driver's ed. That was a little off. Like, like what? I don't remember anybody in my high school. Almost a couple people, but this I was incredible. So she took a bro, she took a flyer. The the, the the I literally passed out about twenty flyers today, um, and had an incredible time having conversations with people, introducing them to the concept. My goal is not to sell my products. My goal is to plant seeds of my excitement of this in the industry. I stopped by our neighborhood uh, newspaper and the lady who runs the ad service for the newspaper go, looked at me and looked at the lady who was working the front desk and said, holy crap, this is much easier than what we're doing. And I said, yep, and it's only gonna get bigger. She was like, you can't tell anybody about this. I said, too late. I said, I'm telling everybody, I'm telling everybody. My technology, my fun, the things that I'm doing, I'm telling everybody because this thing has changed our lives and I don't have to sell it. Some of y'all, some of y'all are literally struggling because you're like, I just don't know what to say. Why, why don't you know what to say? I don't understand. Think about what you have. Are you excited about it? Why not just talk about your excitement of it? Like, Stop trying to sell it. If you mention price ever, you're selling. If you mention the word buy ever, you're selling. If you mention, oh, there's no contracts. Why? Why would you possibly talk about contracts? Present the information. Give them a link to your website. Give them a link to your marketing system. Get them plugged into the system. Allow the system to work for you. Plant the seeds. Make it simple, guys. I'm, and it doesn't make a difference what business you have. Plant the seeds. If you're, if you're like, I, I love that when you go to a vendor event, one of my favorite vendor event stands is always the pink zebra, right? I can't stand the smell of candles. Like, I don't care. There's, there's like vanilla and cinnamon are about the only things I like. And Jen can't stand vanilla. So, it, I'm suffering the rest of my life without vanilla, but it's okay. Pink Zebra doesn't have to sell their candles. They set them all up and they just let you smell them. And if you want them, you get them. If you don't, they don't care. They just set them all up, open them up, let all those fumes, let all that smell come out. That's all they do. They show you exactly what they have. And that's it. They don't try to push, push it on you. They let you know where you can get it. They let you know where you can get the information for how much it costs. It's all right over here. It's on this web page. It's on this link right here. That's where you can get the information. If you have questions, here's my phone number. If you have any thoughts of maybe how you can use this for your business or maybe you need ideas, here's my phone number. guys. And gals out there who are who are trying to build your business to the top, you have to stop being smart. You have to. You have to dumb it down to just showing it from the passion that you had the first time you saw it. Because it doesn't change. Your feelings change. The thing is still doing the thing that the vision said it was going to do. The thing is still doing the thing that the vision said it was going to do. And yet you slowed down because of whatever reason. You got complacent. You got tired. You got comfortable. It's time to let all that crap go. It's time to literally step up in your life. Get Go back to dumb. Go back to I ain't even got it. I'm just excited about the idea. I'm going to show everybody the idea of what the thing is so that I can change my family's life.
That's where you need to be at. That's the level that you need to get to is I just want to dumb this down. I don't want to ask any questions. And, and I had somebody literally trying to beat me up about asking questions because I made a video the other day about, you know, not asking questions. And they're like, oh, that's what cults do. And that's what blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, my God, you totally missed the whole point. I'm not trying to make people not ask questions or doubt or whatever their company or what whatever. I'm talking about taking action versus slowing down. I'm talking about being an action taker first. Being an action taker first. Being an action taker first. Go take action. Action cures everything. If you want to be an ace, go show more people. Action cures everything. You're not at the rank you want to be at yet. Action cures everything. You don't know how to get there, take more action. Figure it out. Stop asking questions and just go show as many possible people. Uh, Dale Calvert literally says uh, it, the number of people shown is, what's his, something fulfilled. Uh, <laughs> your your why, number of whys fulfilled. So you got to show enough people to get the results for your whys. And yes, I got my whys in my wallet, Dale. I literally have them in my wallet. Um, you got you got to go show enough people to get your reasons fulfilled. So go do that. Go show more people. Stop wasting time. Stop, stop trying to know stuff. Don't ask people what do they say. Go figure it out. Don't, I mean, it just, it has to be from you. It can't be a script. It cannot be a script. It has to be authentic. It has to be your passion. I had a conversation with a lady at the uh, Chamber of Commerce. She's 70 years old. She's been running this thing for 20 years, having a good time. And we started talking about faith. We talked about churches and religion in town. We talked about all kinds of fun stuff. It was an incredible conversation. And I said, you know, the, the biggest problem that we have in our society today, especially with Christians, is that I think that about 90% are not going to make it into heaven. I'm not judging them. That's just because of, you know, what the Bible says and the roads and the heaven is narrow and blah, blah, blah. So, but on top of that, I, I think that most people aren't actually Christian, just like I think that most people in network marketing most aren't actual network marketers. They're not trying to build their business because they haven't found the passion to show somebody. Because once you have the passion to do it, it's impossible to not talk about it. When you have the passion of the thing that you're excited about, it is impossible to not show more people. It's impossible. So, guys, Go do the thing that you need to do to win. I really do. You have to go do the thing that you need to do to win. All right, guys, I'm going to shut this down. Thank you very much for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, share this, like it, do, do the stuff you do. Have a great day. Bye, guys.